If we do not have Catholic media, our shrines will one day be empty. These were the prophetic words of Maximilian Maria Kolbe, a saint who launched a Catholic magazine 100 years ago that's still thriving today. The guardian of the shrine of Our Lady of the Immaculate, Father Mariusz Szwowik, welcomes us at the heart of St. Maximilian's spirituality. Nepokalanov is uh, uh, one of the biggest uh, Franciscan friary uh, in the world. Uh, Nepokalanov was started uh, by St. Maximilian Kolbe in 1927. Uh, St. Maximilian Kolbe had uh, great devotion to Our Lady and he wanted to win the world to Christ, to Our Lady. He uh, wanted to do this uh, by printing different magazines. He started a monthly magazine, uh, The Night of the Immaculate. He started this in Krakow, next in Grodno, uh, and finally here uh, in Niepokalanów. He wanted to print The Night of Im in the Immaculate, uh, and he created uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, printing press uh, in Poland and in the world. Before the war, he published almost one million monthly uh, magazine. It was a great job. Uh, Sir Maximilian also uh, started here uh, Radio Niepokalanów and uh, school uh, for boys who wanted to be priests, to be uh, missionaries. The idea of the journal was born to support the apostolate of the Militia of the Immaculata, which St. Maximilian founded while studying in Rome. The international director of the Militia of the Immaculata, Miguel Bordas, welcomes us into St. Maximilian's room at the association's headquarters. In this very cell, they met with the permission of their superiors and founded this very simple, very humble association whose mission was precisely to convert themselves, to be saints, but to also convert everyone, especially the most distant and enemies of the church. In the original statute, the desire was to convert the schismatics and Freemasons. In short, the people who are in some way that fight against the church because they are the souls who most need to hear about Jesus through Immaculate Mary. What I have here is the exactly the first edition of the Rycerz Niepokalany, because this is the Polish title of, of Rycerz, of the Night of the Immaculate. And uh, as you can see, it's, uh, of course, this is a reprinted version, because here you can see the, uh, the logo of the anniversary, of the 100th anniversary of Rycerz Niepokalany. And as you can see, it was very, very simple stuff, you know. It's like 16 pages, everything together, and it was written in very simple language. What we find here is, you know, the word from the reduction, the editorial one, when uh, in this first issue, San Maximian is introducing all the idea of printing the Rizesznie Pokalane. Father Tomasz says that the first article after the introduction is a recommendation from St. Maximilian on how to become happy. After 100 years, St. Maximilian's little magazine has multiplied into 30 editions published in different countries, the majority of which bear the name Knight of the Immaculata as an act of homage to the first one founded by St. Maximilian Kolbe in Poland. What was the secret to St. Maximilian Maria Kolbe's success? The answer can be found in the archives of the shrine built by the saint in Niepokalanów, Poland. The archivist, Sister Anna Maria, reveals St. Maximilian's formula for success. Very simple. Our little uh, 
little w equals big W. And that means our little will, when it's united to God, we become holy that way.